Suppose I have a graph like this. Now you are familiar with this graph. Is this graph is of static loading? For the static loading, a sigma max will it same as sigma mean? Because value is not going to change. So is this problem R is always equals to one? So for static loading, your value of R equals to one. Whereas other than R equal to one, this value will going to change. Now further classification is made on the basis of R value. So as far as the fatigue loading is defined, fatigue loading is entirely dependent on value of R. So we'll take take one by one standard cases of R. So first of all, we'll take the first case that is the repeated and reverse load. That is this value. Is this value clearly indicate that this value equal to sigma max, maximum value of stress? This value equal to sigma minimum. You have to assume my figure that this value and this value is same value. That is, this one is plus hundred. Then this value equal to minus hundred. So in this case, is the mean value come out to be zero? And for this case, is the value of R, which is equal to sigma minimum divided by sigma max. So if you put this value minus hundred and hundred, is it minus one? Now the why the word repeated use? Number one, from this point to this point, is it your one cycle? And if the second cycle will also remain same, that is why the and why reverse? One time you are getting plus hundred, second time you are getting minus hundred. That is called as repeated reverse stress. And for this one, R value equals to minus one. Is the worst condition stress. If you are coming across a problem of this type of nature, the part has minimum life. When R is equals to minus one, एक हमारा R कितना है? Minus one. Most is R equal to what? Minus one. And sigma mean equal to what? Zero. So this one is the worst condition for any problem. And it is expected that the life of this compound is least. The further question is made on any value of R, but sigma m is not equal to zero. That type of stresses are called as fluctuating stresses. So for fluctuating stresses, sigma m Will not be equal to zero. See my all cases. What is this line, dotted line, represent my mean stress? So this time is my mean stress is positive. This time my mean stress is less positive. Is the is it less negative? And this one is more negative. And what you observed in my this case is it sigma mean is zero. So we have two classification. One is sigma m equal to zero, and second classification is sigma m is not equal to zero. If the sigma m is not equal to zero, it type of called as fluctuating stress. So this time, this value is it equal to sigma max? And this value of sigma max is it tension? This value of sigma mean is it tension? What do you find out here? Is it sigma max maximum value? Is it tension for this one? A sigma minimum is compression. So naturally, for R will be equal to what negative number? What is R? Sigma mean by sigma max. So for this R is negative number. For this one is my R value will be positive value. Positive value because both are positive. Here A sigma max is positive value and A sigma mean is negative value. So for this one is R is equals to negative. But this time R is negative and sigma m is negative. That is classification. This time is R is positive and sigma m is positive. That is classification. So this one. Is it both negative? So this will be R will be equals to positive, but sigma m is negative. So any combination is possible. Identify it. For a given fluctuating load, the value of amplitude ratio you have to find out. That is sigma R and the stress ratio. You have to find out both. So first of all, is this value equal to max value? Is the maximum value equal to 500? Is this value equal to mean value? Minimum value? 50. And therefore, 500 plus 50 will be 550 plus divided by 2. So, what is the mean value? Mean value is max plus minimum divided by 2. 500 plus 50 divided by 2. 275. It means that actually your 275 is coming somewhere here. So, this is your mean value. So, how much will move upward from this one on this side? Is it amplitude? And this one is also called as amplitude. So in general, amplitude stress is defined as sigma max minus sigma minimum divided by two. That equals to 500 minus 
divided by 2, 2 to 5. Confirm this. Is this value is 275? 500 minus 275, 2 to 5. And this one is uh, 50 and 275, 2 to 5. So, first of all, what is R? Sigma minimum divided by sigma max. Minimum is 50. Maximum is 500. So, is this value equal to positive 0.1? And what is second ratio? Stress ratio. What letter we use? Is equal to sigma amplitude upon sigma mean. Is the amplitude ratio. Is equal to. What is amplitude? Amplitude is this value. That is equal to 225. Mean value is 2275. 275? 225 by 275. Point 0.1. 